All of the things that you will need to make your Harry Potter wand are sticks from outside. I grabbed a whole bunch so that I could decide which one I liked best. I also got some craft sticks from Walmart just in case the outdoor sticks didn't end up working out for me. You will also need paint. I ended up using brown, red, yellow, and blue. A hot glue gun and extra hot glue sticks. The amount of glue that you use will depend on how big and thick you want the handle of your wand to be and how intricate you want the wand to look. You will also need paint brushes and some kind of sealant spray. I used a matte finish shellac that was safe for indoor use. Also make sure that if you're younger that you have a parent help you with this project. The first thing you want to do is find the stick that you like the best. I picked this one because I liked that it was slightly curved and had a little bit of imperfections on it. At first I tried cutting this one knot off, but it didn't work out very well so I decided to keep it and just work with it. The next thing that I did was I put hot glue on one of the splintered ends where I had broken it away from the rest of the stick. Then I put a whole bunch of hot glue along one end to make a handle. I ended up adding to the knot that I originally tried cutting off because I thought that it added character to my wand. The next thing that I did was I used the already existing bumps and knots in the stick to make a design. I connected the bumps and knots with a line of hot glue and then I added hot glue on top of the bumps as well to make them stand out more. Once the hot glue was dry, I started painting it. I started with a solid brown color. I'm not sure why it came out all weird and chunky like this, <laughs> but I ended up liking the overall texture it gave my wand, so it worked out for the best. And then I just painted the entire thing brown, all over the stick and all over the glue. I was a little impatient waiting for the paint to dry, so I balanced some of it on a styrofoam plate. It was a little difficult though. You should try to just be patient and wait until it's dry before you paint the handle. Once the brown paint was relatively dry, I came back and I mixed together colors. I tried to make uh, a gold color, which is not very possible. So I ended up getting a bronzy brown type color, which I ended up being happy with. And I used that color to paint along the hot glue that I used to connect all the bumps in the wand. Then I had to be patient again and wait for it to dry again. And once it was dry, I sprayed it all over with uh, an indoor use matte shellac. If you don't get an indoor use one, make sure you spray it outdoors. And then I put it somewhere out of reach from my cat. Make sure if you have any pets or toddlers in the house that you put it out of reach from them as well. And I waited for it to dry again. And once it was dry, I had an awesome custom Harry Potter wand. <laughs>